they actually in, engraved their logo into the rivet. So they did? T1. I just noticed that like two weeks ago. So that is... That's got to be it. That's got to be the 150. <laughs> so is it bad work with the CNC? Yeah. <laughs> That's where it goes. Damn it. Yeah. Jake and Nolan with Tacticon, in this video, we are going to show you the key differences between a $30 holster setup and a $180 holster setup. I think you're gonna find it very interesting what the difference is. We even brought the guy who bought this $180 holster setup to tell us what that $150 price difference is. So stick around to the end. I do wanna warn you though, there are some satirical undertones in what you're about to see. And although we say many of, much of what we say in jest, there's some underlying seriousness it's, it's, behind it. It's kind of it's kind of truthful a it's little bit. It's kind of truthful. And, but sometimes the truth hurts. The truth does hurt, and you're about to find out why. Come on, Dan. Here we go. All right, Jacob. Uh, so I've got our holster here. Right. What was that uh, price point? One more time. It's right around thirty bucks at the time of filming this. Okay. Okay. And let's for, you know, just the sake. Okay. This is a $180 holster, $180 holster as confirmed from the uh, individual who purchased this as well as um, confirmed uh, through my researching on the uh, interwebs. What makes the $150 difference? Um, we'll just start on, where, where do you want to start? Let's just start for the viewer left to right. We'll left just, to right, we'll, okay. we'll just work our way across. Fantastic right. idea. So this could be one of the reasons why, um, this is a uh, this is a concealment wing. Uh, that's more of a concealment nub, if you ask me. No I bird, would say it's concealment uh, nub. No, no bird is flying with that. This nub uh, is the reason why there's a hundred and fifty dollar price difference. Um, oh, would you look at that? I would say negative. Probably not. Probably not because ours actually also comes with a concealment wing, and it actually has the claw and. There's also another height claw that's included for deeper concealment. There's technically three claw settings. Three claw settings on this particular three one. Three claws on your wing. One claw setting on this one. So this actually has more. Now I'm really confused, Hold on. but. Okay. Hold on. Adjustable retention. You're right. There is adjustable retention on this. Would you look at that? Oof. Adjustable retention on this guy too. It's amazing. Yikes. Okay. Uh, That's not good. Um, all right. Light bearing. Light bearing. It's like pregnant with a light. This one does not have a light attachment uh, to it. Uh, it is not blocked out for a light. Um, oh, you know what? The funny thing is, is uh, I actually own the company and I can tell you with all surety that uh, when this model does come out with a light bearing version, it's going to be... Um, Zero point zero dollars more money to accommodate your light. That equals the same price, right? Yes, it would be uh, the okay. exact same price that you're paying for a non-light bearing. I'm, I'm not good at math. I was homeschooled, so I need that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know the reason why? Uh, I would not charge more for a light bearing holster. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. It costs a nominal amount more money to add the material down here to accommodate for a light it to the point where it's so negligible that I wouldn't even charge the customer for it. So it doesn't cost 150? Uh, it doesn't. Okay. Nice. We're at the suppressor height channel. They, I believe they have a suppressor height channel to Look where you can, so if you're running optic cut height or optic height sights or suppressor height sights, these guys have built a channel into the top of it allowing for for the, uh, the front sight to slide through it. You know, those long boy sights. The big dogs. Yeah, they're pretty cool. As luck would have it though, we did the same thing. We've accommodated for the suppressor height sight, but moving back, it, it would appear that these guys have also uh, allowed for an optics cut in, in the event that somebody would uh, mount an optic to- Catch your yourself, pistol. brother, we got one too. Well, how about that? Oof. Optics cut, optics cut, suppressor height channel, suppressor height channel. This has a mag holster attached to the gun holster. So that's a serious problem because we do not have it's a unattached. mag holster that attaches to the firearm holster. However, if I'm looking at this from a usability standpoint, sure, it's fantastic that these two things are woven together and they move around, but 
Should I want to not carry a spare mag with me or I wanted to move it somewhere on my belt, um, unfortunately, this does not allow me to do this. So I would for sure say that's another point for our holster. You can move this anywhere you want to on the belt or you can leave it at home if mission doesn't dictate you need to be able to carry a spare mag. What do you think? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, I carry a big gun. Let that sink in. Yeah. Uh, it's an SP-01. It's big, it's heavy, it has no recoil. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I like the way it shoots. That being said, I that's a lot of metal. Yeah. And sometimes I don't want to carry an extra mag in my belt line. So, you know, being able to remove it and either carry off body in my bag, where yeah. I like to carry three, four, five, 10, 11, 12 mags. Yeah, I'm trying know. to find, I'm, but I'm still trying to find where there's a $150 difference between our holster and this holster right here. Uh, do you uh, think it could be somewhere, lie, lying somewhere in the center here? I've heard we have a rubber band shortage. So. Platinum rivets. Platinum rivets. And due to the COVID related rubber band shortage or the um, elastic band shortage, right. if you will. Uh, there's not an elastic, band, there's shortage. An elastic band shortage. But there could be an elastic band so shortage due to uh, COVID, obviously, because COVID causes all the problems. Uh, that's probably where we could be seeing that. We do have four rivets here. So if there's a $150 price difference, divide two, carry the three, square root of nine. I'm thinking we could be dealing with Six 150 dollars. divided by four, oh. 40. 38, yeah. somewhere in there. 38 to $40 per rivet. That's definitely not $6. Well, but, let's flip her over. Let's see what we got on the backside. What's that tumor? This little fella, yeah. this is a wedge. Wedges are great. Wedges uh, are cool. There's nothing wrong with a wedge. I enjoy a wedge. It's a foam wedge. It's comfortable against the body. This will kick the holster up and away from you. Uh, what that does is it drives the grip in towards your body, uh, reducing printing and increasing concealment. Saves paper. Saves paper. If only we had, how about that? Our wedge, as with this wedge, is most likely removable. What's ours ours is most definitely board? removable. Yeah. You can take it off if you if you don't want it, right? You can put it back on if you do want it. So that can't be the thing. No. It's not a $150 piece of foam. As a matter of fact, not only does it not cost any more to get a different color, it doesn't cost any more to get the concealment wing or the adjustable height on the concealment wing or the foam wedge or the additional mag carrier. That's true. I am at a loss for what is making this holster $150 more. I could always call, I could always call Sean. I think you should call. come in yeah. here and see exactly the whys and the wherefores of why he spent his money where he did. Get that sweet little lad back over here. I will get that sweet ass back in here right now. Few moments later. Hello, hello. Uh, what goes, how goes it? Ladies and genitalia, this is Sean, Sean Lovely. That is indeed his last name. Yes, it He's is. He's one of our sales guys here. Um, it makes me sad. It breaks my heart and my balls that he purchased this $180 holster instead of just grabbing one of ours for free. But to each his own, we are in a free market and everybody can purchase whatever they want to. I do want to get your take on mm -hmm. a couple of the reasons why you made the purchase of this and what compelled you to spend 180 bucks. This isn't meant to uh, put you on the spot. It's not meant to rake you through the coals. I just genuinely wanted to know uh, why you, like why you did it. Yeah, you know? yeah, of yeah. course. And, and um, I think, I think our, our friends out there want to know. Yeah, yeah, no, So no. tell me why. Tell me why. The, the first thing that I needed is I had, I had already purchased a, um, a light before I started working here, and I need and I wanted something that would just house, accommodate the light. Accommodate the light. That was one of my requirements. Gotcha. I just I just really needed something that that because I I used the same gun for both my outside the waistband holster right. and my inside the waistband holster, so I can just swap it because I don't I don't own multiple handguns. I only have one pistol right gotcha. now. Gotcha. 
So um, that allowed me to just keep the same light on without having to take any lights off or anything like that. Completely fair. Would you? Would it be also fair to say that we have the capability to produce light bearing holsters? Absolutely, yeah. Enough said, cool. Yep. Uh, was there anything else? What you had mentioned, I do know you had mentioned to me before when I collected this holster from you that it, it carried a spare mag with it? Yep, it does carry a spare mag that's connected to the, the main holster unit. Gotcha. Um, so that was another selling point for me. Um, the the third selling point was basically that uh, I thought it looked cool. So. That it looked cool. Would it, would it, <laughs> going back to the mag point though, would it be fair yeah. to say that our holsters also come with a spare mag? Yes. And that, yes, you could, ours, that you could probably put it right next to this holster when you mounted it inside you, your belt? You are correct. Cool. Yep. Just just wanted to clarify that because I'm trying to yep. eliminate things that are actually yeah. the same. Yeah. No, but no. And actually you ours, said, ours does come with come with this too. Correct. So. so you but you but I what I did wanna uh, I wanted to touch on is you said primarily the reason why you bought it is because it looked cool. It looks sick, yeah. And it <laughs> I will give you that. I will give you that. And I will say in all honesty to all those out there, and I, and I mean this, I'm, I'm telling the God honest truth, this looks way cooler than ours. It genuinely does. Um, yeah, I mean, it kind of looks futuristic and, uh, you know, yeah, that space, being, uh, uh, space forcey. That, that, that you know? being said, it is a concealed yeah. holster, so. Take that for what it's worth. It's a really good point, actually. <laughs> the only people that are going to see this, I think there's three potential people that could ever see this. Yourself, obviously, yeah. when you take it in and out of your pants. Right. Uh, the guy who's about to have a really bad day because you, clearly yeah, you, you've, you're, you're, drawing drawing, you're drawing on him. Yeah, yeah. And in case he's not going to remember it anyway. Yep. And your wife, who, I mean, let's be honest, she probably hasn't taken your pants off yeah, in three years. Yeah, I mean, she's not that impressed with other parts of me, so I just figured maybe the, the holster would make up for that. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, though, Sean. So, this yeah. holster is definitely way cooler <laughs> looking than ours. Um, is it 150? I mean, you can be honest with me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be mad at you or sad mm -hmm. at you. Is this $150 cooler than ours? No, I don't think it's $150 cooler than ours, no. Because I'm I'm carrying ours right now, and yeah. right here. I have been wearing our holster, and I nice. will say it is, you know, minus the light, it's a lot It's a lot more comfortable, especially something during like the summer months. This would be uh, all right for winter, because it's bigger, but definitely summer months. Right. I, I definitely, probably prefer something like this. Cool. Um, that's really it, man. I just kind of wanted to get your take on uh, what was going through your mind when you made the purchase. I know yeah. uh, I know the, the viewers probably wanted to know the same thing and why people buy something that's more expensive that would potentially do the same thing. That's kind of why we're trying to go over this right now. But right, I think yeah. I mean, they're both handmade holsters. Um, and as far as a durability standpoint, I can't imagine that this is any different from this right from a durability standpoint yeah it's the same thickness yeah. of uh thermoplastic it appears to be machined in a very similar manner than that we machine it um is there do you do you recall the warranty on this um i think it was a couple years okay it, i don't I, lifetime yeah. warranty for ours do you recall uh oh the foam wedge did it come with it uh, it did not. It was, uh, I think it was about a $10 upcharge on the wedge. Okay. Ours comes with the foam wedge. Did the did the wing at least come with it? The wing did come with that unit. Gotcha, the concealment wing. Yeah. Uh, so does ours, but did it come with the claw or any variable height claws? Uh, no, it just, just came with the one. I think it gotcha. might have came with an extra one of these cords right here that connects. Um, even the with the mag. COVID related cord shortage that we've got going on right now? So yeah, even with the a... cord shortage, they, they hooked up an extra little bungee cord. Isn't that nice? <laughs> that is commendable. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is commendable. I mean, I couldn't even imagine coughing up an extra cord during our COVID-related cord shortage. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's serious yeah. stuff right there. All right, um, I think that was it, unless there's anything else you wanted to add. Uh, I can't think of anything else, no. Yeah, you can take that garbage holster with you. I will take my garbage holster. Thank you very much. Yes, all right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> to wrap her on up. I just want to throw it out there while we're here. Throw it out there. While Sean's still in the room. While Sean's still in the room. <laughs> I wanted to throw this out here, especially for you guys, because um, I'm very much like Sean in this matter. When stuff looks cool, it's <sighs> hard to pass up. True. And we're not trying to throw any shade whatsoever yes. at those of you who decide, hey, this looks cool and I want it. 
Yeah. Because we're in America. I have bought, bought, I bought. I bought. I have bought and purchased plenty of things that I absolutely didn't need just because they looked cool. Because it I looks am, sick. Absolutely. We get it. 100%. And we, we, we both, under, we all three understand that. And so again, just no shade at you guys. No. There's a satirical undertone, but there are very, very serious notes. Save your money and train. Buy right. some ammunition, get out there on the range, get some range time and put some reps in. And uh, yeah, even the guy with the cool holster won't be able to keep up when you draw on him. So. That's right. There it is. Stay safe. Thank you very much for your time today. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we will respond if we read them all. Thanks guys, we love you. He does. I love you. I really like you though. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>